Hey everybody, the Super Vader 400 here, back for another retro review, and that is Mortal Kombat Defenders of Earth Realm, the cartoon, the animated series that aired from September 4, September 21st, 1996, till December 14th, 1996, on the USA Network's cartoon um block. I saw this show for the first time on VHS. I saw four episodes on VHS in 1997 when I was really, really into Mortal Kombat, and um, and for the most, and I thought this show was awesome. And then when in 2007, um, someone was nice enough to upload all the episodes, so I got to see the rest of the um series. And after watching them. Um, all 13 episodes just recently again i think this show is awesome and it's even better than i remember um um and it's even better than i remember um the show is surprisingly decently written for a cartoon to be based on a video game with basically no story with basically it has a story but there's no storytelling there's no storytelling and and the animation is great. And this show is like a combination. This show is like a mix between G.I. Joe, uh, X-Men, I mean the Marvel animated series, and the DC animated um series. Um the music. Oh man, the music is the music, the background music is awesome for such a low budget cartoon. You can tell this cartoon was on a much lower budget than other cartoons from that time particularly the um D dc um cartoons but the music is awesome they they pretty much recycled the background music from the very very first mortal kombat movie which this um cartoon is also a sequel to it's a sequel to the it's a sequel to the the first mortal kombat film and it's loosely based on mortal kombat 3 all the characters who of course appear here, Liu Kang, Jax, Younger Sub-Zero, Sub-Zero, Sub Kitana, and Sonya, and Nightwolf, who's not in this picture, and Raiden, all look like their Mortal Kombat 3, Mortal Kombat trilogy, um, counter, um, character designs, and, and, uh, look like their Mortal Kombat 3 character, um, designs and they um do their moves and also characters other more to come at three characters show up such as cabal who you see right there um kano um scorpion who i'm about to talk about in a minute um sector cyrax sector cyrax and um shang song in his more to come at um three attire and um motaro shiva and two characters who look exactly like Baraka and Reptile but have different names. Um, Rain and Ermac in slightly different roles also appear in this show. This show was awesome. Like I said, I was surprised when watching this again how um how well written this show was. I love the episode The Sting of the Scorpion. Okay, while his backstory as usual with this Mortal Kombat universe does not follow the scorpion of the game because first of all the scorpion here scorpion here um of course is a bad guy when in the game he's neutral and it, pretty much in some consider him an anti-hero here in in sting of the scorpion um um he's a warrior he's a vanquished warrior who was refused entry into the um whose soul was denied entry into i think um it was denied entry into according to sub zero in the cartoon the honored um dead so um he was i think cursed to wander the earth forever so in revenge he tries to summon his undead army which is an army of skeletons that look just like him and he also his ultimate plan was to summon shang song i love the story they came up with scorpion for this series i just like i said i hate that his story has nothing to do with the um his story is just like it is with conquest the live action series 
it has nothing to do with the games. It's vastly different from the games. That and I also hate that he only appeared in one episode, despite how much, despite how big his role is in the series. He only appeared in one episode. But then again, this cartoon didn't last long. It only lasted for 13 episodes before being canceled. And I also loved um. Jax, I also love Jax having to fight his insecurities, such as the episode where um he loses a chip to his arms and is forced to fight without his arms, relying on his um relying more on his brain and his brute strength. Um, I love the backstory of Rain being a a traitor to Adenia, which is just like the games. I also love the first human appearances of Cyrax and Sector, which is um funny because in this cartoon they show Sector as black and they show Cyrax as as Asian as Asian yet uh, years later in Mortal Kombat 9 it's the other way around I didn't I didn't know they had different race I thought all three of them were Asian because they were part of the Lin Kuei but um but in the Mortal Kombat 9 Cyrax is black Sector is um Asian and Smoke is also um Asian. Speaking of that, I love the episode which focuses on the character Smoke. I love the backstory about how Smoke and Sub Zero were friends and swore an oath never to fight each other. And uh, of course, just like the game, the Lin Kuei, the Lin Kuei forced forced Sub Zero and Smoke to go through automation. Sub Zero escapes. Smoke is not so lucky and it gets turned into a cyborg. And in this cartoon, Smoke. In this cartoon, Smoke is a heroic character, saving saving Sub Zero from saving Sub Zero from um saving Sub Zero from death at the hands of the Lin Kuei Master. And the fight with Sub Zero and the Lin Kuei Master, and in my opinion, the fight with with Sonya Blade and Kano in 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 the in in an episode that focuses on Sonya and her rivalry with Kano. And episode um, nine with the resurrection of Shang Tsung, when he fights Raiden, those, in my opinion, were the fights of the series. Those were the best fights, um, in the series. Which I'm gonna talk about now. The fight sequences are surprisingly well choreographed action sequences, but not as not as good as the movie because this cartoon really didn't have a big, a, a much bigger budget. I wish this cartoon would have had the uh, maybe a budget to the level of the the DC um cartoons yeah um but yeah the action sequences were surprisingly well um choreographed the voice acting is awesome and hilarious at the same time in one episode scorpion he gives an awesome speech about raising the dead an awesome speech about raising the dead and then at the end of the episode when he fights Liu kang he did he does his signature get over here and he says get over here it's so hilarious it sounded so awkward and rushed and forced that it was hilarious but um voice acting is um voice acting is good um yeah and um i also like this show because this show not even i didn't even know this this show also provided the very very first appearance of the character quan chi who would go on to be one of the major antagonists of the fourth of the fourth game mortal kombat 4 I didn't know he first appeared in um this series. I thought Mortal Kombat Conquest. No, no, I no, it wasn't Mortal Kombat Conquest. I thought he was a character created for the video games. I didn't know he had an appearance here, um, first. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. So like I said before, I, this show was awesome. A lot of fans hated because, of course, well, since this was a Saturday morning cartoon, um, uh, the violence has been toned down. The violence has been toned down, and the and the show is occas- and the show is of course occasionally cheesy, which in my opinion makes it a good thing because I feel shows like this shouldn't really take themselves that that seriously, and you need more than extreme violence and fatalities to impress me. This show was surprisingly well written, but once again, fans because it wasn't anime and because it's not um. The the violent gore fest it is in the arcade, they didn't really like this show when it came out, and of course it was canceled after only thirteen episodes because USA the dumbasses at USA decided to get rid of their cartoon block. The car and now I think USA sucks now. They were much better when they showed cartoons, 
And then I also hate that this show ended because according to Wikipedia, this show was set in the same universe as the Street Fighter cartoon. And I would and I've always wanted to see a crossover with Mortal Kombat and the Street Fighter um the Street Fighter um characters, but a game with the Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter characters and I thought it was it would have been cool to get that here, but um no. But um yeah, so like I, I, that's why I reviewed this series because I think this series is criminally underrated. And I've not seen that well, I've not seen anyone review it, but I've seen a lot of negative comments bashing this show and I thought um who who reviewed this show again? Let me check Wikipedia again. Um I'm about to check Wikipedia again. Oh yeah, of course. Oh yeah. One UP dot com featured this series in the top ten think top ten places where Mortal Kombat went wrong and they called it a terrible one liner train wreck of it um showing Gamefront called an abomination. My opinion, those guys are just arrogant and didn't, and don't know what they're talking about. This show is an awesome cartoon. I thought it should have got a much longer um run. Alright. The Super Vader 